What do you think? Yeah, I've heard it discussed and it doesn't make a ton of sense. Last year, we published a paper that showed that 29% uh, that are tested through a third party via PCR are contaminated. So if I didn't do that ever, one, I would never know that. But if I never removed any capsule, I would potentially be harming a large number of patients because in Dr. Ash and you, Andy, each of you would react differently to having that in your body. And I don't know how you're going to react, but a paper uh, by Bethune Sina was published last year that showed the interaction between the contaminants, the oleic acid, which oxidizes, creates oxylipentinum, which is a big driver of fatigue and these symptoms that we, we see so commonly in patients. So I don't know why folks want to do that. When I gave my FDA testimony in 2019, I testified, testified publicly behind a woman who had had capsule left on her ribs and she developed ALCL and that was going to end up killing her. So wow. that, that was a horrendous story to have right before I came up. But I, I sleep very good at night because I do the same operation for every single person. And to the best of my ability, you know, I'm trying to get everything out all the time. The only thing that can, can hinder me is the thinness of a capsule. Mm. So that's really. You do the best job you can. Tan, what do you think about that? Um, I think it's super important to try and remove as much as you can. 